15.6d complex numbers powers of i. i to the 0 is going to be 1 because anything raised to the 0 power is 1. Recall that if we had 64 to the 0 power, it equals 1. If we had x to the 0 power, it equals 1. All of those, um, anything raised to the 0 power is going to be 1. So the first answer should make sense in that case. I, if you recall, is equal to, or I to the 1 power, or anything to the 1 power is going to be just that number, or letter in, in this case. I squared, well, if you recall what I is, I is the square root of negative 1. And if we square it, when we square a um, square root, we get what, just what's inside, so it equals negative 1. We have i to the third power. Well, if we have the square root of negative 1 squared times the square root of negative 1, which would give us square root of negative 1 cubed. Well, we know that the square root of negative 1 squared is going to be negative 1. The square root of negative 1 is i, so that means that this is going to be a negative i because we have negative 1. Let's write this out a little bit better here for you. This is negative 1 times square root of negative 1 is i, so we get negative i. Whenever we want to use higher powers or when we run into higher powers of i, there's a really simple method to um, simplify that. We take and divide the exponent by 4. Notice over here that we have four different i's. And then we use the remainder to determine what it equals. I'm going to be using a calculator to show you how to do this. So we are going to look at the exponent, which is 223. We're going to take 223 and we're going to divide it by 4. And we're going to get 55.75. Now, here's one of those uh, things they don't always teach you in school. There, whenever we divide by 4, there are only four possible decimals. We can get 0 0.0, we can get 0.25, we can get 0.5, and we can get 0.75. Those are the only possible decimals that we can get, and we are only interested in the decimals because that's the remainder. So, this is the part that we're interested in, the 0.75. So, if we take 0.75 times 4, because we are dividing by 4, we're going to get 3, which means that 0.75 is always going to be 3. If we took 0.5 times 4, we would get 2. So this is always going to be an exponent of 2. If we point 0.25 times 4, we're going to get 1. So 0.25 is always going to be the exponent of 1. And obviously 0 times 4 is going to give us a 0. So it will always be 0. 
So because we're only interested in this for, for this particular problem, the 0.75, which gave us our 3, our remainder in this case is 3. So what we get is i to the third power. And if you go back up and look at your chart, you'll notice that this is equal to negative i. And we have simplified this exponent of i's, or this power of i. Let's look at example two. Again, we're going to take our 96. We're going to divide it by 4. And we're going to get 24. Notice that our decimal is 0, which means that our remainder is 0. So we have i to the 0 power, which is just 1. And we have simplified this power of i. This works for all powers of i.